Along the rugged Jalisco coastline, you'll find Yalapa, a secluded, laid-back village only accessible by boat. No cars here, but you'll see plenty of horses and mules. Many folks describe Yalapa like Puerto Vallarta was back in the 1970s. It's tucked away in a quiet, sandy bay where the water is turquoise, the beach bars are plentiful, the colors are vibrant, where the waterfalls glisten, and the locals' smiles are endless. Since it's about one hour from Puerto Vallarta, it makes a perfect day trip to escape the city for a little while. You can also stay overnight here too. So here's how to get to Yalapa and how to spend your time there. Okay, we made it to Boca de Tomalan. There are two ways you can get here. You can take a bus. It should cost you about 30 pesos per person, or you can take a taxi or an Uber, but you cannot take a water taxi from the main beach at Puerto Vallarta to get to Boca. You can take a water taxi from Puerto Vallarta all the way to Yalapa, but if you don't want to take a boat that far, take the bus or a car to Boca and then take a 10 minute water taxi ride to Yalapa. And that's what we're gonna do, so let's go check it out. If you want to take the boat all the way to Yalapa from Puerto Vallarta, you're gonna catch the boat at the Los Muertos Pier. It's gonna be about a one hour boat ride. From Boca de Tomatlan, it's gonna be about a 30 minute ride on the boat. Once you're in Boca, you'll have to grab a water taxi. They depart each hour, and you just buy your tickets in the town or on the pier. The boat ride is definitely part of the experience. It gets a little bumpy and a little choppy. There are these little panga boats that you have to climb in and out of, so definitely wear some sturdy shoes or sandals. Leave the cute flip-flops in your hotel. But if you're visiting in the right season, usually from December to March, you might be able to spot whales. The captains of the boat are always watching and will point them out. When you arrive in Yalapa, there are two piers where you can get off the boat. The first one is the main beach area with all the restaurants. I recommend staying on the boat and getting off at the second stop, which is just across the bay. This is the small village area and where you can hike to the waterfall. No matter where you get off though, first check the boat return time so you can plan when you need to be back by. We chose to get off at the second pier to visit the Yalapa waterfall. We are on our way to the waterfall here in the town of Yalapa. Follow the path through town for about 10 minutes. Take your time as there's lots of local vendors along the way, so it's kind of like a fun market atmosphere. And don't worry, there's lots of places to stay hydrated on your journey through town. After about 10 minutes, we arrived at the waterfall to find a nice swimming area and lots of big flat rocks to sunbathe on. We enjoyed the sunshine and refreshing waterfall for about an hour. There is a second waterfall that's only reachable by either a two hour hike or a 20 minute ATV ride and then a 20 minute hike. The water is a little bit chilly, but if I can handle it, so can you. I really recommend going for a dunk. It was really refreshing, especially on a hot day. Excellent. And there's a cute little restaurant here, so we're going to enjoy a Pacifico con lemon. Cheers. Cheers. He's got a bum wing. I've taken him under my wing <laughs> we're best friends now after the waterfall and beverage break we made our way back to the beach and found a restaurant for some lunch more cervezas and some chill time to relax by the waves when you're here in yalapa chilling on the beach you have to look for a chili She's the pie lady. She's got all kinds of pie. You don't want to miss her. Look at this lemon meringue right here. If you want some more ideas about places to see outside of Puerto Vallarta, I recommend checking out the Natural Hot Springs, another great day trip. And I do have a full video on that. Also, Yalapa is one of 14 day trip ideas that I put together in my travel blog, and you can find the link to that in the description. 
I hope you enjoyed coming along to Yalapa with me. We'll see you in the next video.